All right, moving forward, now we're gonna swap out the mechanical seals. This one here in the impeller, probably just gonna try to stick something underneath there to pry it up. This one here in the main pump housing, you can flip it around, get a punch or something in from behind, and punch it out. But here is the new mechanical seal right here, and you really wanna make sure that you don't damage the face of them. Yeah, it comes out pretty easy. You can see where I showed you guys before in an early video where this mechanical seal was all broken up. Let's get that rubber out of there too. There's a little bit of corrosion, so taking some sandpaper. I'm just kind of cleaning around the edges. Just going to throw a little bit of synthetic grease around there to help make the seal go in a little easier. So I got the inside coated with synthetic grease. So now, if I grab the seal, I like to use the little protective coating that it came in and then push it in straight and that went in really easy. That's installed with a brand new seal. Alright this one here, punch and hammer. I'll maybe I'll adjust the camera. So, so you can see right here with the old one, there's no rubber on it. This one has a rubber seal and it appears that it was siliconed in there. So we're going to have to remove this rubber seal, put that silicone in there to create a seal. Otherwise, if we just put it in like that, it'll leak. I'm going to peel the rubber off. So I need to get that seal in without damaging it. And I'm going to use a 36 mil socket, which fits perfectly over top. And that's how we're going to insert it. That went in really easy, nice. Well, the mechanical seals are in. Let's reassemble this pump now. Before we put the pump housing bolts back in, you wanna make sure they all have these little plastic rings on them because that's gonna act like a seal. We're gonna get this impeller on carefully. There we are, the pump's all back together for the first time in months. 